Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Far Cry 6. I'm your host, Colors Fade. Giancarlo Esposito plays the wonderful villain Anton Castillo. Anthony Gonzalez plays his son Diego, Sean Ray, and Nisa Gundas do the male and female voices of the protagonist. Alex Fernandez plays the wonderful Juan Cortez, major character in the game for you. There are a ton of fantastic voice actors in this game. And yes, I am going to show this intro because it is fantastic. Rarely have I seen an intro in a game done this well. This music is fantastic. The first time I sat down to play this game, I seriously felt like I was going to get lost in a movie instead. It's just so wonderfully done. My son and I spent quite a bit of time playing this game and talking about doing this on the channel. He's the one who's encouraged me to do it. I have played this game so many times now, spent so many hours in it, and I just think it's one of the most amazing games that Ubisoft has done. It is a little long. It is a little grand. <laughs> it's a little much at times in the same way that Skyrim and Fallout 4 are games where you can easily get lost in the side quests. This game is huge, bloated, some might say, but it is just so fun. So that's why we're going to play it. Far Cry 6. All right, everybody, we're going to play this in action mode. It's the default classic Far Cry experience. I don't want to play in story mode, and I don't think I'm a good enough player for guerrilla mode. But this is a load of fun. Yara is an island in the heart of the Caribbean. 1967, a guerrilla revolution led to a crippling blockade. Frozen in time for 47 years, the island collapsed into poverty until a new leader was selected with a cure to rebuild paradise. El Presidente of Yara, Anton Castillo, played wonderfully by Giancarlo Esposito. My true Yarans, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son, Diego, will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaren, he Turn that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarens? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on. You ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. Nisa Gundas does the female Danny Rojas voice, and I love her. She's absolutely awesome at it. Sean Ray does the male Danny, and he's fine, but Nisa is just so much better, so we will be playing the female Danny Rojas.
They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck off. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Hi. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boat's waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. <laughs> Coño! Fucking blackouts. Too big for a blackout. You fucking packing? Oye, do you know what's going on? Rapis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Rapis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Alejo, don't! Alejo, get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! Raptis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to rebuild Paradise. We have to go. Now! Get the rooftop Raptis now! The boat. You're coming. You will join I promise us me, Lita. Paradise. See. Come on, Danny. As intros to video games go, this is one of the best ones I have ever seen. Okay, then. When we get to Miami, we'll say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Not only does it do a great job of introducing you to the game world, the politics, the fascism, but it also does a great job of introducing you to some of the early game mechanics, like crouch and stealth and that sort of stuff. So, I just... I just think it's such a brilliantly done game. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. It's also really, really beautiful. And it gets more beautiful when you get into the jungle. We're looking for Danny Rojas. Keep looking, because you're not gonna find me. I'm getting the heck out of here. The lighting and everything in this game is so great. This is just the default game, by the way. This is not with any kind of mod at all. Playing with zero mods. There is a mod to change the cutscenes from the default 30 FPS to 60 FPS, but I'm not using it. It's the only mod that I would kind of like to install. The lighting is fantastic, though. It's a lot of soldiers, Lita. So we take the sewers. Tanks in the city is never a good thing. Ready, Danny? Sprint. Blue arrows are good. Viva la revolution. Yeah, from when we were kids. Oh, this is so fucked. The, the constant history of this world with the 67 revolution is, is one of the really cool storytelling parts of this game, in my opinion. I love that they have this backstory and that you get to meet some of these people who were part of that revolution. They went this way. Que coño? So much blood. Yikes. Almost there. The way out is up ahead. Good. That boat's not going to wait for us. A lot of cool visuals in this opening. That lady's yelling about us. Well, we need to get out of here. 
shit. Rita, zip line. All the classic traversal stuff from the Far Cry games, getting a lot of it early. Oh no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't here. The blue arrow. Shit, Rita. Where are you? I'm not waiting for you, Lita. Torre de Leon, Castillo's fucking castle. Police. They're just letting the military kill us? La noche de la muerte. Flaming cars, not good. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Alejo. He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gown. Let us on. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a peace boat. You be on, no, no! <laughs> And here comes the man himself. I'm so thrilled that they got Giancarlo Esposito to play this character because he is perfect. Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. Ha, <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sink the no! You have poisoned Yara, you have poisoned your sword! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make Viviro. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just 
happens, it's fucked. Vamos, vamos! Uh, And so it begins. Lita! I can't feel my legs. Fuck, Lita. This is all my fault. My phone. Forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it. Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No! You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Rita. It just doesn't get any better than this. I was so blown away the first time I played this game, and I'm still blown away by it. Danny didn't want to be part of the revolution, but now she is. So many dead. Coño, I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. First pistol. Shit. Pistol's empty. Yep. So it doesn't do us any good. Camp. How the fuck is this still working? <laughs> the markings must be the code Lita was talking about. I mean, this is... This is amazing. Look at this. And the way the trees sway in the wind and everything. It's just... Oh my god. Every single time I play this game. I, a lot of the reason I come back to playing this game over and over since it's been released is because... It is so damn good, visually and graphically, but but the gameplay is also just hugely fun, and that's a that's a major thing. So what do we have here? Raphael, take the spray paint and mark the trails. Your markers will guide us safely through the countryside towards our caches and away from patrols. Blue is the true color of our flag, not that rag Castillo Asiento. uses. Your family would probably never know what happened to you. So lots of collecting parts. So unlike Far Cry 3, where your progress was bound by your ability to explore and craft and upgrade your equipment, in this game it's much different. Much different. I can smell it on your clothes. Your sweat. It's the stink of it, great. It's a very noisy kill. How did I know you were Don't know how this person that? didn't hear it, but that's okay. Right. There's a lot of violence here. And we got pistol ammo in case we need one looking for Clara. Down you go. 
There are a load of different settings in this game for how you want What's things this? to look. Like if you don't want these boxes to flash so that you can make it easier to pick things up. You can take icons off of enemies. You can take the, you can turn the mini map off if you want the game to be a little more difficult that way. It's all configurable. So I play this game this particular way. These slightly improved sidearm ammo reserve, not not great pants, but that's okay. We'll put them on for right now. So the main way that you upgrade your character in this game is compared to Far Cry 3 is instead of crafting stuff is by getting equipment. Your equipment determines a lot. Come here, piggy. You going to come here? Come here. Big old fat porker. He's gonna rush me. There he is. Alright, we're gonna grab that damaged animal meat. If you collect ten of those, they can be useful. And right away, one of the last pieces of traversal. Yay. Been a while since I used one of these. Got used got introduced in Far Cry 4. And it was used extensively in Far Cry 4. Unfortunately, Far Cry 4 pretty much... It was my least favorite one. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny. A friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? I love the way they introduce Answer characters. Me. I said, are you the only survivor? See. Si. Lucky. Need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermana. Lita said you'd help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny, Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards. I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple. Castillos got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all of this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas. Yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. 
Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita that? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. So as intros to games go, this is so wonderful. This starting island works as a great prologue to the game. It's pretty damn awesome. And of course, she's going to give you this first quest. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortez. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with Libertad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get I, down to that village and bring me Cortez. I just love this stuff. I hope for your sake he's sober. <laughs> the way they introduce the characters and all that stuff, it's just so well done. Refill ammunition. Okay. So then you've got your arsenal. You got These are locked for now, but this is such a cool part of this game, the fact that we have loadouts. It's great. Really going to let this stay here? What's the problem, Julio? This is the interesting part. This is the first camp that you're in in the game and you're still in first person mode. Later on, it jarringly moves to third person only when you're in camps. It's the number one complaint people have for the game and they still haven't changed it. There still isn't an option. I don't know why. All right. Libertad is here. Yes, we are. So we're going to put an end to Castillo. Let's go get one then. So right out of the gate, man. Just, this is so gorgeous. So this game is so big. And if you break out the map, this is what you're looking at early. This is the, what I want to call prologue island. And when you get off this, then you, then you get introduced to the wider game, which is honking huge. To keep this Let's Play from being a bazillion hours long, we're going to stick mostly to the main story quests and then taking things like outposts and checkpoints. We're not going to... I don't think I'm... It's so easy to get sidetracked with side quests and all kinds of things. I'm going to try not to. Danny, how's the earpiece? Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. The spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble, especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. This is one of the cool things you can change. Yeah, it says holstering your weapon. It's cool. The, the tutorials here are really, really nice in this game. I like them a lot. But the cool thing is you can change whether you want to go full auto burst throat mode or single shot with your weapons. And you can change your rounds later on from armor piercing to some other stuff like explosive, etc, etc, etc. So it's, it's very cool the way it works. And then, of course, there are these beautiful sunsets and sunrises there. The game is just... So gorgeous. Yep. So we'll go get one. The way the game looks and sounds. Fantastic. And so I'm really excited to see what Ubisoft is going to do with Star Wars Galaxies. With Star Wars uh, Outlaws. Because they're the... 
you know, Ubisoft has a ton of developer houses and you saw how many were working on this game, Ubisoft Kiev and U some other ones. Um, Ubisoft Shanghai, I think it said. It was like, they, they have a lot. But I've just got to the point where I kind of... I kind of trust them. The way they're doing things. So he's over there. I never do this, but I wanted to show that you can drop a body. You can move people around. Where's this other guy? Yep, you all should run. We have some kind of crate over here. All this stuff you want to pick up ends up being really useful. Especially if it's your first time playing the game. Brand new playthrough. Where's this guy at? He's over here somewhere. I already know where Juan is. I just want to... my weapon away to avoid trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I sneak in behind this guy and knife him? Lots of bodies here. Have to find him. You're done. All right, let's stay strong. Yep, please do stay strong. So over here there is a crate. Some stuff there. What are we, where is it at here? Is it on it? It's on top of this building. Okay. <laughs> Need to jump on top of this car, I think, and then I think we can get up here. There we go. So, like classic Far Cry games, especially Far Cry 3, there are a lot of puzzles in this game, the way they hide certain things, which is kind of cool. This has a lot more features than any other Far Cry game, though, a lot more systems. And some of these systems I did not engage in very heavily the first time I played the game, and I was really missing out. There, are, there's a lot of benefits to doing certain things, and we'll get into them as we get further into the that game. Looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara, or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Juan Cortez, Let's work for you. voiced brilliantly by Alex Fernandez. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, Guapo? Your first pet? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, guapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. Coño! Bala, pinga! You fuck. 
fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. What the fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. Time to fight. Get her in the head, please. Where are these guys at? Hey, now. How many are there here? Ah, heal, get down. This is the last one. Poke your head up, honey. Ah, there we go. Juan, you ready to go? All right. No kidding. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. I love the gunplay in this game. Your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Wapo. So you get your first amigo. I tend not to play Come with on, these guys, the but they are kind of fun. Complete challenges with your amigos to unlock their abilities. You handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. Ex KGB, ex CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But one Cortez, he breaks fucking country. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? Oh yeah, this. See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got Wapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. All right. Please, you're here to help Wapo. Let's try to do this silently. So you go to your amigos and you just unclick him and he'll go away. All right. Weapon let's... or not, military will shoot me on sight here. Let's try to do this silently. So tagging enemies, always good. Because it'll let you know. You can see when you can't tell where they're at, they're the big red blob. And when you can have them marked, then they're a dot. And once you get everybody marked and know where they're at, then life gets easier. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get her. That guy watching us is probably a, a bad thing. And I don't have a sniper. Oh, but here we go. Is he going to see us? Okay. He can't see us. Which is good. And if this guy doesn't see us, then we'll be able to wander up right behind him. Okay. Grab the supply drop. What 
What the hell are you going to do with this one? Gunpowder's great. You, so you need all the gunpowder to make mods for your guns, which is what makes them awesome. Done. FND chest, those are great. This is more like it. Alright, the MS-16S. We'd like the MS-16L. That's the one we need to get. And yes, there's... This could be useful. Recycled fast news. And this thing. Doink. More shit for one. Silent but deadly. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Lead on, Juan. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. I agree. Following you. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. Or a bow hunter. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? Orphanage in Esperanza. And the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla... Always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. <laughs> there is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your yarn blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Guapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah, not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, I... It's grounded, but I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. Juan is awesome. As a character to introduce you to the game, he's just incredible and he's so well voice acted. I love the guy. How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. I was six when I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy Hola. with it. Hi. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? The answer is soft target rounds. Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. 
Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. These rounds fly straight and true, and go through Kevlar like shit through a goose. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang. So you can see it uses one gunpowder and then recycled faster. So gunpowder is kind of the bottleneck in a lot of mods in the game. So it's the thing you're looking for the most. And there are a couple of really nice ways to get more of it that I didn't really realize the first time I played the game. Bandito operations are a huge way to get lots of gunpowder. It's pretty great. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. <laughs> so that's um, done. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new yada. All right, Mr. Wan, one of a kind. <laughs> He's a great character. So just by doing things like that, by completing objectives and taking down stuff, you earn XP that just automatically levels you up. Doesn't really do much more than that in the game. Feel like taking Wapo for a walk? Sure. What do you got for me? Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, one, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But Juan, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. So set up our first arsenal here. We got what? This is going to be our, our regular weapon and this is our sniper for right now. Sniper weapon, so... There we go. We don't have much gear, so we might as well get moving. You're not one of us. So where do we have to go on the island? Way over here to the section Sagrado. All right. Well, let's take off. I don't tend to fast travel too much in this game. Just like I don't fast travel in a lot of games. The only time that I start doing it is late in the game. You have the option to, to airdrop into anywhere that you want to. There's a horse over there. Well, come here, my friend. There's another mod that you can install for this game, and, and I haven't done it, but it changes the field of view and keeps it the same aspect ratio that it is when you're on the ground, when you're in cars and horses. You can see how it shifted when you're on the horse. It makes it feel pretty restrictive, but again, I'm not playing with any mods because I just don't feel like even trying to install them. The game is pretty darn good by default. You can run these horses into the ground too. I didn't realize that the first time I was playing. But if you sprint them too hard, they will poop out and die. So the beautiful island, it's just wonderful. We're going to be on the lookout for any sort of crates or boxes along the way though. And any time that you see somebody who needs to be rescued, you should rescue them. I think there might be a crate up here. Is there a crate? No. Oh, jeez. That person. Oh, my gosh. And you can run across all kinds of people in the game who are going to give you... Who are going to unlock the location of various boxes in the game. Oh yeah, so here's the first checkpoint. See, I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, then watch Libertad rise from the ashes. 
checkpoints. This is the part that I didn't understand when I was first playing the game. I'm like, how do I clear this checkpoint? You have to blow up the billboard. So if you don't do that, it doesn't work. So we'll grab our our version of the sniper rifle. Is there somebody up in that tower? It sure looks like there is. If they're not in the tower, oh, he's going up it right Shit. now. Checkpoint. Okay. This is great because they're just going up into the tower right now. What the hell? They coming down? She didn't stay on that very long. There you go. All right, where are my guys? I got a guy over there. The officer in charge, and I got this bozo, and I got a... Is that a... He's got a gun. It's not an automated turret. Should kill the alarm. Can I kill that one from here? It might be easier to go kill that guy. I can't remember if it's this game or a different one where... Oh, he's taking a leak. Perfect. Get over there. Bet this place has a stash room. You're dead. Oh my gosh. Gotta take care of those. One of these games, you can't shoot these things. And I think it might be this one. There we go. That's it. Now, where is... There it is. This one. Ha Later in the game, you get access to grenades. So, it makes a whole ton of sense to just uh, blow them up with your grenades. I'm going to wait till that horse gets out of you. Well, there we go. And we've captured our first roadside blockade. This is the part about Far Cry that's always been the most fun for me, is capturing stuff. And you get bonuses for no alarms going off, or usually you do at the bigger places here at the first one in location in the game. Not so much, but you automatically pick up the key when you clear it. One, the checkpoint is clear. Didn't that feel good? You've earned some guerrilla karma today. Keep it up, Danny. And an FND crate. And that gets us the sniper rifle. It's a decent sniper rifle, but it doesn't have a suppressor on it right away, so it's not much use. Over here, my friend. This Come guy's on. great, though. You got something for me? You want to hit the military where it hurts? There's an anti-aircraft site on Santuario. Blow it up. Thanks a lot. And a lot of times, talking to these people get you all kinds of cool missions. A lot of fun. Now we're going to head up there. That's a good horse. I have ridden a horse one time in my entire life, and it was just like John Candy in the Great Outdoors. That horse was not pleased with me. And I wasn't even really overweight then, I was just buff. Easy. And that horse was like, this guy is too big for me. He was walking intentionally into overhanging trees and all kinds of stuff, just really really didn't like me my daughter wanted me to go with her because she loves horses so she had a chance to ride this go on this horse ride you know when we're on vacation she's like dad you got to come with me and that Mom, horse hated I me found the tower. don't stop now danny find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact see si, i'm on my way so my daughter of course was just laughing her ass off she's like that horse doesn't like you dad i'm like i know So there's a crate up here. So it's kind of it's kind of a neat nod to Far Cry 3, which was 
I think Far Cry 3 was the last game where there were a lot of towers. I might be wrong about that. They might have been in Far Cry 4. But it, pretty soon they stopped doing the towers altogether. I think Far Cry 5 might have been the first game where there were like no towers. So this is a nice little homage to the towers from Far Cry 3. I miss those towers. I love unveiling the map with, with the towers. But I guess a lot of players didn't, so... I got somebody on a horse over there. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. All the marked rocks and stuff so you know where to climb. Oh, and you can climb up this. So here you get the first Yarin crate. That gets you some Supremo Ban. And over here, first idol. Remember there are the there are the relics from Far Cry 3 that you could collect, and if you collected enough of them, you get a weapon. Here they're just Bendicion. XP for your level up. So now we've ranked up. New weapons and gear available. So every time you level up, you automatically get access to new weapons and gear. Yep. Complete operations, capture military targets. All this grants you XP. So as you rank up, you get access to more stuff. It's that it's that simple. It's not tied to crafting or hunting or anything. That's the part of Far Cry 3 that I miss. But it's still... I mean, it, this what game is still a joy. Well. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. Perfect. Pardon. I, I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Yep. Alright, so... The old Spanish fort. We get the parachute. Later on, you get the squirrel suit, and that's the best, the wingsuit. So she's going to take us to where we're going to go. And since we're almost in an hour on this video, this is where we're going to cut it. Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. Bribing double agents. Yes, to get you valuable intel. Holster your weapon before approaching. Bribe them to get your stuff. And then, after oh, you've got the information from them, you can kill them. What do you know? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Hey, thanks. Thank you for your information. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their families. He's not the feeding his anymore. Alright, let's have a look here. And we can do some adjustment here. So remember, we got access to new guns. And and other things so what do we have access to what did we we have no weapons for this we got this sniper rifle which if we wanted to put a suppressor on would cost us gunpowder that we don't have so we're not going to be using that sniper rifle and then there's nothing else nothing else that we have access to okay what about what about yeah, we have a new access to this. Okay, Minor Gorilla Defender. Slightly improved sock target blast and armor piercing defense. We would definitely like that. These pants are lame, but they're all we got. 
These are improves move speed while reloading. So anything's better than nothing. Casual set. That's all we got right now. All right. Collection. Cryptogram charts, roosters, USB songs, hidden histories. There's a lot of those. So. All right. That's where we're at. So from here, you can sit here and see. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already giving you his right tool for the right job talk. Yes, he has. Scouting, use your phone. X to take out your phone. Tagging soldiers will reveal their weaknesses. And use the workbench to build and install different ammo for your weapons. So, if we bring out the phone with the zoom on it, you can see that there is a... That is the alarm we got to take out. Otherwise, they'll call in everybody, which will suck. Armor piercing rounds, weak against. Yep, so... The game has all of these different ammo types, but because so many guys wear helmets, if you don't want to spend all day switching weapons or switching ammo types, I just roll with armor piercing and try to shoot everything in the head. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. Yep. So now it becomes how do you want to get in, and you can actually get in on a rope over there. So I like that. Let's head on over there and scout from there. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. So we should be able to do this. That See, we got you soft target hand rounds. Hand. Don't drop into the needle of the fort, okay? So we can change the standard rounds, armor piercing rounds, and soft target rounds for those. So there you go. If you want to do that, you can. All right, the parachute could come in handy, yes, but. Yep, so the cave is still lightly guarded. It's like they think gorillas can't swim. The approach to the power station is still wide open. It's like an invitation. And that's the way we're going to go. I've actually done the cave. It's down there. You can see it's right down there, and you can go in through that cave. I've done that a number of times, and, and those guys end up swarming down there a little bit. So we're going to deploy the parachute and wander over to the power station instead. And then we'll end the video there, and we'll start the next episode with the assault on this place. But as an intro to this game, I just think it's so good. So many games mess up the start of their of the game they just mess up the whole starting process from prologue to introduction to the story elements and world building and all that stuff and this game does not do that it's one of the most perfectly constructed first hours of a video game i've ever seen it introduces you to the characters to the world building to a lot of the systems um it's just so wonderfully done and then on top of that you know the game looks like this i mean it's it's gorgeous so all right, this is where we're going to leave it, right here. We're going to stand right here. I'm going to see you on the next episode, everybody. Thanks for watching so much. I hope you enjoy this. Far Cry Fridays. I'll see you all next time. If you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. Consider supporting my Patreon. It's in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.